July 9, 2022, the red planet marches into Aries this morning. It is part of the morning planet parade with Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. As night falls the lunar orb is clearly within the clutches of the Scorpion. Chart Caption, 2022, July 9, Mars and Venus are in the eastern sky with Aries and Taurus before daybreak. By Jeffrey L. Hunt. Chicago, Illinois, Sunrise, 5.24 a.m. CDT, Sunset, 8.27 p.m. CDT. Check local sources for sunrise and sunset times for your location. Daylight is slowly slipping through 15 hours in length. In two mornings, that mark is reached at Chicago's latitude. By month's end, daylight loses another 34 minutes. Morning Sky Mars marches into Aries this morning. The red planet is not as bright as we would anticipate. It is somewhat far from Earth now, but its brightness grows during the next several months. This morning at one hour before sunrise, Mars is nearly 40 degrees up in the east-southeast, 12.8 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, Aries' brightest star. This star is nearly 10 degrees north of the solar system's plane, ecliptic. No bright planet or the moon passes close to it. The Pleiades star cluster is 28.0 degrees to the lower left of the red planet. Mars is generally heading in that direction, passing the cluster on August 20th. Mars begins a series of triple conjunctions with Aldebaran on September 7th and Elnath on October 10th. Earth passes between Mars and the Sun on December 7th, the opposition of Mars. The planet is strikingly bright at that time, but not as bright as Jupiter, but brighter than Sirius. Mars retrogrades in Taurus, setting up interesting conjunctions with the bright named stars as well as with dimmer stars in this constellation that seems to be filled with many stars of different visual intensities that make for frequent opportunities to watch the planet's changing place. This morning at this hour, brilliant Venus is over 46 degrees to the lower left of Mars and about 9 degrees above the east-northeast horizon. Do not confuse the morning star, likely hiding behind the neighborhood houses, buildings, or trees, with Capella, the bright star that is over 20 degrees above the northeast horizon and 24.0 degrees to the upper left of the brilliant planet. Venus continues to quickly step eastward compared to the distant stars. It is 10.4 degrees to the lower left of Aldebaran and 7.2 degrees to the lower right of Elnath. It is clearly below an imaginary line that connects the two stars. Chart Caption, 2022, July 9, Bright Jupiter and Mars are near each other in the eastern sky. Bright Jupiter is to the upper right of Mars, nearly halfway up in the southeast. Dimmer Mars is over 24 degrees to the lower left of the Jovian giant and about one-third of the way to Venus. Jupiter is slowing to begin its retrograde on July 29. Until then, Mars marches 14.5 degrees eastward, while Jupiter only inches 0.6 degrees in the same direction, seemingly slowing to reverse its direction. Jupiter's movement is slightly larger than the Moon's apparent size in the sky. Extend your arm. The width of the fingernail on your pinky finger is about that size. The distance from Mars to Jupiter in the sky seems to explode from Mars' consistent eastward march and Jupiter's seemingly deceleration to reverse its course. Retrograde motion is an illusion from our faster-moving planet catching and passing between an outer planet and the Sun. Chart Caption, 2022, July 9, Saturn is in the south-southwest in eastern Capricornus before sunup. Saturn, nearly 45 degrees from Jupiter and about 30 degrees up in the south-southwest, is already retrograding in eastern Capricornus, near the star Deneb al -Gidi. Our world passes between the Ringed Wonder and the Sun on August 14. Do not confuse Saturn with the star Fumalot, about 20 degrees up in the south and over the same distance to the lower left of the planet. Chart Caption, 2022, July 9, through a binocular Saturn is near Deneb al Gidi and Nashira. With Saturn picking up some westward speed, its changing place with the stars is easy to observe. Locate Saturn through a binocular along with the stars Deneb al Gidi and Nashira. Look each clear morning to watch the planet's place change from the previous observation. This morning the ringed wonder is 1.4 degrees to the upper right of Deneb al Gidi and 2.6 degrees to the upper left of Nashira. By month's end Saturn makes a nice triangle with them. Mercury, the fifth bright planet, is retreating into bright sunlight and circling behind the Sun for its superior conjunction, with the Sun. It emerges into the evening sky next month for a poorly placed appearance. Mercury is a challenge to find during bright evening twilight. Evening Sky. Chart Caption, 2022, July 9, as night falls, the gibbous moon is in the scorpion's clutches. The bright gibbous moon, 81% illuminated, is about one-third of the way up in the south with the stars of Libra. 
the lunar orb's brightness blots out the dimmer stars of Scorpius and some of the stars are near the horizon. At this season as night falls, the scorpion crawls across the southern horizon. This evening, the arachnid has the moon fully in its grasp and seems to be pulling it toward its mouth. The starred Sheba is thought to be the scorpion's forehead or crown. Clearly the moon is in a precarious place in the sky. The classic scorpion is split into two constellations today, Scorpius and Libra. The pincer stars, Zubin Ashamali and Zubin El Janubi, retain their classic names, but are part of today's Libra. The pattern resembles a scorpion. The body curves down toward the southern horizon, with the reddish star Antares at the heart. The body continues toward the horizon and suddenly curves upward to the stinger. Return with the chart above in about a week when the moon rises later in the evening to see this celestial creature in its westward, summer crawl across the southern horizon. In about 12 hours, the moon covers Chuba for sky watchers in Japan, Korea, eastern China and parts of eastern Russia. Tomorrow evening, the moon is near Antares for moon watchers in North America.